no one ever imagined that there was a murderer, a serial killer living in the neighborhood. We're standing right in front of the house, which is also popularly known as the Horror House or Khun Ka Bangla in the Nithari locality. So what was the truth that emerged out of the documentary for you, Ram? Well, I think for both of us, we went into this film thinking completely that Kohli and Pandir were guilty. And we left thinking that Pandir was completely innocent. None of the cops, none of the families, not even Pandir, realized that these kids were being murdered. How we meticulously break down why people thought he uh, committed these crimes, why Pandir should be found guilty, and then we deconstruct it and prove that Pandir didn't know about it. So what was the starting point for you for the documentary? For us, story-wise, investigation-wise, one big starting point was the victim's family. Jabbu, who's, who's in our documentary, uh, who was Jyoti's father, she was a, she was a victim. Uh, Jabbu sold all his ancestral land looking for Jyoti. For right. many, many years, he got obsessed with the search. Right. So that, for us, was the starting point into, into the documentary. In those two years, when the kids were going missing and when the murders were happening here, how there were nights when, when his German shepherd used to just go berserk. Only later, two years later, when the case opened up, did he discover that those were perhaps the nights when Kohli was committing his murders. Right. Those were perhaps the nights when she could smell the blood from the servant's quarter because the servant's quarter is very close to the neighbor's house. When the case broke, there was a media frenzy and I think there was a, a rush to judgment. And Pandir was portrayed as a monster, mm -hmm. as this Bollywood villain. And I think you can't, you can't, you have to question everything. If this is what justice is, fine. But this is injustice for us. As family, this is injustice. 